Hello everybody, this is Brisbane 5 Blast here and welcome back to another video of this channel. In this last episode, we have done Sweden versus Colombia and it was actually a dramatic match we've ever seen in which Colombia got the job done over Sweden and is now the first team to probably make history in reaching the grand final because mostly it's big teams who's, who are actually making to the grand final but not underdog teams. They're basically like not having the chance to shine. But finally they do because... What else can I say? But now enough of that. Our next semi-final is going to be one of the biggest blockbusters we've ever seen. As it's going to be England versus France. Right here at the Brisbane 05 Blaster World Club Cup. Semi-final 2. So England. England had pretty good decent matches. They've got the job done over Poland. And managed to win this match against Italy. Whereas France obviously had the easiest... Uh, knockout run as they bet South Korea two goals to nil and uh, France two goal and uh, and sorry Cameroon go uh, two goals to nil and now they're in the semi-finals to challenge England at Wembley Stadium and whoever wins this match will be challenging Colombia in the finals and whoever loses this match will challenge Sweden in the third place match to see who gets the bronze medal whoever but yeah I really hope you enjoy this one I can't wait for the Brisbane 05 Blaster World Club Cup Season 2. I'll tell you which month we'll, we'll, I'm going to upload it on. But yeah. Real Madrid are actually a defending champions. But what I'm going to talk off based. We're going to talk about uh, our semi-final two. To see who goes through to the finals. But we're going to see that right here at the studio. And the team management. Here we are guys. We're here at the studio to talk about these two teams. Who have been... In their prime for, for these past years. And yeah. They reached all the way to the semi-finals. And are now challenging each other. Yes. We're talking about England and France here. So these two teams have played 32 games. In which England has won 17. France has won 10. And both of these teams have drawn 5 matches. But yeah. Come to think of it. England has only won one World Cup. But they've never won anything. They've not even won a single Euro competition. While only the women's team have actually won that. Which is kind of embarrassing here for the men's team. But obviously, France, they've completely dominated in every aspect. They've dominated the Euros. They won multiple Euro titles. They even won two World Cups. They sadly could not go back-to-back, -back, all thanks to our Argentine goalkeeper, Emi Martinez, who made vital saves and denied France's chance to go back-to-back -back World Cups. Oh, win back-to-back -back World Cups. Because surprisingly... Mbappe wants to say that he wants to actually be the like basically be the next 18 year old to to equalize Pele because Pele was also 17 year old and won World Cups like multiple World Cups with Brazil and Mbappe was also thinking of breaking that record but obviously Argentina ruined their chances they could have actually tied with Brazil in in winning back to back World Cups but Argentina denied France and wanted their South American neighbors to maintain their record of winning back-to-back -back World Cups. But anyway, let's just not go off base as we'll be going to the team management section to see what changes will be made. So don't go anywhere as these changes will be very vital for these two teams. Here we are, guys. We're here at our starting lineup here for England. We're going to see. So... They're going with David Seaman, Phil Neville, Sol Campbell, Tony Adams, Gary Neville, McManaman, and Paul Ince, Paul Schultz, David Beckham, Heskey, and Michael Owen. Pretty good, I would say. But you know what I talked about earlier? We're always going to put Robbie Fowler in the starting level for every tournament. No matter what. Because he's been the best playmaker here for England. And he actually scored a goal against Poland. Also created a wonderful play against uh, Italy. And I think he should really be well. Steven Gerrard would probably be a best midfielder here for in place of Paul Ince. And uh, to avoid confusion here because there are two Devils, I decided to put Rio Ferdinand here as a starting eleven to partnership these defense defense line. I would say in replacement for Re in Phil Neville, I would say, because Phil Neville has been the underrated English player. I mean, that's why I made a move to Everton. He could not be like how Gary Neville is, being a Manchester United for life. 
But now let's take a look at the IGM here. They're going with a 4-4-2 formation. I could really see that from here without telling. But you know what? Because this, they are dreaming for this for their first championship uh, title here, they have to go with a 3-5-2 formation because you can see a CDM position here. Two right midfielders and two... Or basically, two centre midfielders, one right midfielder, one left midfielder, two centre forwards, and three back defence here. So, this could be unfortunate because players would really shift their positions. But don't worry, because I know how England are. They're pretty good at this type of formation. And now let's take a look at France here. France are also going with these type of players. Fabian Barthes, Luzarazu, Desai, Blanc, Thuram, Vieira, Zidane. Emmanuel Petit, Pire, Anelka, and Thierry Henry. But you know what would be better? Is adding David Trezeguet. You know why? Because Trezeguet has been the best player here. He scored one of the bangers against uh, South Korea. Because of the assist from Thierry Henry. Obviously, without Henry, they would not have reached this far. But obviously, Trezeguet would really make it to the starting 11. And now let's take a look at the IGM. They're going with a 4-4-2 formation, but let's go with a 5-4-1 formation because five, mid five backline defenses, four midfielders, and one lone striker cause causing a huge threat to the defense line. And I think it would be Anelka or Henri that will be doing this job here. Obviously, France's main ambition is to win the title, but England is also having the same ambition, so... I have no surprises. But yeah, those are the changes I'll be making for these teams. But yeah, I really can't wait for this one. I really hope you enjoy this one. And as usual, we'll be saying our final speech. And there you have it, folks. I really can't wait for this match. England and France is going to be one of the tastiest encounters I've ever seen. Obviously, the likes of Beckham against the likes of Zidane. And I really can't wait for this. And Beckham and Zidane are actually Real Madrid teammates. I mean... Beckham, I would say, used to be like one of the new new people or new friend, I would say, or new teammate, I would say. Because Zidane is basically like the experienced Real Madrid that Beckham is. Because Beckham spent his most uh, career in Manchester United than uh, other teams, I would say. So, it would be those two players going head-to-head -head here. Beckham versus Zidane. Who will be going to the finals? Who will be having this this type of joy and moving to the finals? And who will have destroyed we're all gonna see that or we're just gonna see that basically but i really hope you enjoyed this one and uh obviously please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel i really beg you beg you to like and subscribe it's obviously free it just helps me give motivation here so please subscribe to my channel i really beg of you to please do that but yeah with that we're gonna go to webley stadium to watch england versus france one of these teams will be going to the grand final to challenge Colombia. And also one of these teams will be have to endure and challenge Sweden in the bronze medalist third place match. Who will be the winners for this semi-final? We're just going to see and find out. Here we are, guys. We're here at the Wembley Stadium here to see... England versus France. These two teams have been dynamical. They both had craziest knockout runs, I would say. England had a decent one, but France had the easiest. But who will be going to the grand final? Sadly, we can't see one of these teams or England and France to be in the to both be in the finals. But it would be very amazing to see how they play and how they entertain entertain all these fans. At Wembley Stadium here. But I really hope you enjoy this one. Make sure to get some snacks ready. As this match is going to be good. Here we are guys. We're here at the Wembley Stadium here in England. England versus France. The semi-final two or semi-final match two. Who will be challenging Colombia in the finals? We're just going to see and find out as England starts the kickoff. Beckham has the ball. Still Beckham. Still David Beckham. Passes to Robbie Fowler. Robbie Fowler shoots and what a goal. 
They just scored the earliest goal we've ever seen. And we're not even five minutes of the game. That's a wonderful pass from David Beckham. And Fowler shoots one of the craziest bagger goals we've ever seen. And with that, England are in front early at this game. But you know, France, don't count France out. Because I know France are pretty good here. Petit has the ball, but Fowler takes it. But it's still six minutes because I'm pretty sure France can still make this comeback. Blanc has it, passing it to Nicolas Anelka. Still Anelka. Anelka does a step over. But I think Scholz did a good tackle. McManaman has it, but Trezeguard intercepts it. Passing it back to Thuram. Still Thuram. Still Thuram, but Fowler takes it away. Passing it to Stevie G, Steven Gerrard. But Trezeguard takes it again. Passing it back to Vieira. Vieira to Zizou. Zizou to Trezeguard. Still Trezeguard. Trezeguard does a big kick. But England was all over there. But Anelka has it. Anelka shoots. But Seaman saves this one. That could have been one opportunity France needed. And now McManaman has this one. McManaman to Fowler. Still Fowler. But Vieira takes this one. Passing it to Thuram. Thuram to Desailly. Desailly to Anelka. Still Anelka. Running it to the wing side. Passing it to Henri. Henri does a big cross. But I think that's a pretty poor header here. To pass it to a teammate. Fowler has it. But Vieira takes it from him. Obviously. Arsenal midfielder versus Liverpool striker. Trezeguet has it. Still Trezeguet. But Gerard takes it from him. Sol Campbell passing it to McManaman. We're already at our 21st minute. And England still had the earliest lead. Fowler has it. But Trezeguet takes it. Emmanuel Petit has it. Petit passes to Henri. But Ferdinand obviously does a big, big tackle on him. Desailly has it. Desailly to Emmanuel Petit. Still Petit. Still Petit. Petit to Zidane. Still Zidane. Zidane. Zidane to Petit. Still Petit. Still Petit. Emmanuel Petit to Anelka. But what a tackle here from England. I mean, don't count France, France out yet. I mean, I know they can do it, but they just had to find a, a bit of momentum. Still Vieira. But Owen ta tackles him. Owen passes to Ferdinand, then to Beckham, but Henri tackles him. Henri to Emmanuel Petit. Still Petit. Still Petit. Still Petit. Still Petit. Petit to Zidane. Still Zidane. Back to Petit. Still Petit. Petit can go for it, passing it to Zidane. Zidane shoots, but Seaman with a wonderful save, and Gary Neville takes it out. And now it's Lizarazu, the Marseille player. What can he do? Still Lizarazu. He has that. Uh, that good pace here. And I don't think he's Marseille. I think he might be Bayern. I don't know. I can't remember when I called his name uh, in a funny way. When they were playing against Marseille. Bayern versus Marseille here. But yeah. Fowler has it. But Desai takes this one. Thuram back to Vieira. But it's still with uh, Fowler. And I think Fowler can go for number two here. But obviously. These teams have been. Pretty balanced here. Obviously, the early goal from Fowler might have di differentiated that. But come on. Owen shoots, but Barthes saves this one. France has completely dominated this game. But it's all because of Seaman, who has been making pretty good goalkeeping reflexes, I would say. Ferdinand has it. But you know Henri's going to be ready to tackle. But Owen has it. That's a bad way to lose the ball here from France. And still, yeah, I think this could be... Uh, Time out here. Unless if England can go for, for a finishing touch. Owen has it. But I think they get away with it. And that's it. First half has already been concluded. With England having the earliest lead we've ever seen. All thanks to the goal from Robbie Fowler. As you can see, let's take a look at the uh, stats here. England has two shots on... Two shots, two shots on target. France, two shots, two shots on target. <coughs> France dominated the ball, ball possession, obviously. But it's obviously England defense that has kept them low. But don't count, don't count out France out yet. Don't count France out yet because I know they can come back from this lead from that England has. But we're going to make some important changes here for these two teams. So don't go anywhere. A second half will be coming up right after this short break. Alright guys, second half is coming right up here. 
So I made some important changes here for England and France. So let's take a look here. And an important decision here from France here, I actually tweaked their formation here. So from 5-4-1, I made it into 5-3-2 formation. So just to make it a bit balanced. So I subbed Owen off and bought Andy Cole in. Emmanuel Petit goes off for Robert Pire because I did sub him off initially. But England has a chance to make it 2-0. But what a save from Fabian Barthes. But Rio Ferdinand has this one. This could be game over, but Barthes saves it again. Barthes goes for a, a bit cheeky kick, but you know England's going to take this easily. They do. Fowler has it, but Thuram takes it. Still Thuram. Thuram does a big kick, however. And it's with Fowler. Vieira has it. It's still Vieira. Vieira to Zidane. Still Zidane. Still Zidane, but Gary Neville takes it. Andy Cole. But Trezegor with a good interception. Still Henri. Henri has it, but Paul Schultz with a good take. And now Beckham has this one. Still David Beckham. Beckham passes to Fowler. Fowler shoots, but Bath is again with a good save. That's his fourth save of the game. And they're still going with a cheeky kick, but England is obviously going to take this one. Ferdinand, but DeSailly takes this one. Pire has it. Pire to Anelka. Anelka to Zidane. Zidane, still Zidane, but Tony Adams takes this one. Henri has it. Henri goes for a sidestep. Still Henri. Anelka has it somehow. Still Anelka. Anelka to Zidane. Zidane shoots. But what a save from Seaman. That's a vital one here from, Zid from Seaman. Trezegor with a good kick. Passing it to Pire. Pire shoots, but Seaman again with a save. France were almost there. They just had to find a bit of flair here. Now Beckham has it. But what a good take here. Lizarazu passing it to Pire. Still Robert Pire. Still Pire. Pire to Zidane. Zidane shoots. And what a save here from Seaman. Seaman's fifth save already for the game. This could be a chance here for France. France shoots. But Seaman saves it again. That's his sixth save. What are we seeing here? France are almost there. They just have to hold on here. They just have to find the right momentum. Trezegua has it. Still Trezegua. Trezegua again. Trezegua does a big kick. It's still with Henri. Still Henri. Henri to Zidane. Zidane shoots, but Seaman just had to touch it, off, touch it off to the cross bar. And now they have third quarter. But McManaman takes it easily this time. Ferdinand to Andy Cole. 15 minutes to go here. I don't think France could... Somehow they had chances. They almost had made it. But obviously, Seaman was out of nowhere. I'm telling you, England are the favourites here to win this one. So, yeah. If you're in English fans, you would really be happy about this. You would really be happy about this. I mean, because look at this. France are trying their best, but it's just that their goalkeeper and their defence is doing well enough to keep France off. And Fowler has the ball. They could go for two goals. And this is easy. Andy Cole. But Barthes somehow manages to hold it on. And now they're going for a very short kick. Thuram has it. Does a big pass to Zidane. Still Zidane. Zidane passes to Henri. Henri. Still Henri. Henri does a big cross. This could be a chance here. Anelka has it. But Seaman with a good save. That's his 8th save of the game. France are completely dominating. The new formation is working. But it's just that the England defense is too good for them. Thuram has it. Passing it to Pire. Pire to Trezegua. But Gerard with a good take here. McManaman. McManaman to Fowler. Vieira takes it away from him. Passing it to Pire. Pire to Trezegua. But McManaman has it. This is getting a bit intense. But you know England are going to win this one. Andy Cole has it. Yup. It's still with England, and they could go for two goals. Cole has it, pass it to Beckham, but Lizarazu takes it. I don't think there it is enough. And with that, England moved to the grand final with Seaman with a good shutout, and Seaman also the player of the match here. Fair play from Robbie Fowler. That's why I told you he's the playmaker. They should have put Robbie Fowler as a starting lineup here. That's why England should have really deserved to win this one. It was just their mistake that they couldn't do it. They finally did it. Six shots, six shots on target for England. Eight shots, eight shots on target for France. They got three corners thanks to their new formation. But it just couldn't work out well here for them. 
They completely got rot by England's defense. They got smashed. But anyway, what a win here for England as they're now in the finals to challenge Colombia. I really can't wait for this one as this is the grand final you have to see. France have been eliminated and it's going to be Colombia versus England. But before we go for the Colombia versus England match, we will be doing our third place match as usual to see who will be the bronze medalist for this tournament. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one and we'll be back for our next game. Goodbye. Hello guys, we're back and just as we witnessed, yes, good news for the English fans. Football is most likely going to be coming home as England got the job done over France, all thanks to an early sensational goal here from Robbie Fowler. So as you can see, Robbie Fowler scored an early goal as we already know it, but France had plenty of opportunities to get back into this game. I actually tweaked their formation from 5-4-1 to 5-3-2 formation, and I thought their formation was working well. It, it actually was, but because of England, England's defense and their goalkeeper in prime, and that to a 36-year-old goalkeeper, Seaman, he actually somehow stopped France from getting back into the game. England are really serious to win this competition. And because of that, they are now into the grand finals to challenge Colombia. It's going to be a very classic match. One of these teams will be making history because England, they are like the cursed team. They've never won a single World Cup. I mean, apart from the 66 one. And Colombia obviously has not won a single one. They only won, I think, Copa Americas or maybe like a domestic uh, World Cups, I would say. But other than that, they, they never won anything big. But this is the time that this, this is the year or this is the season that they should be winning this World Cup. Because Fustino Aspria, a former Newcastle United player against Robbie Fowler, a Liverpool player. David Seaman, an Arsenal goalkeeper. Beckham, the Manchester United player. These two teams have history. It's like Manchester United versus Newcastle United here. But yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this one. But before we get to our grand final match, we will be doing our third place match. And then obviously we'll be doing our teaser for the grand final. And then after this, we will be doing our grand final match. Yes, our grand final match. It's going to be a very good one and a very classic one. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. This is Brisbane05Blasty here. Signing off.